Hello and welcome back to Massive Chalice if you are still in the video mad. Now first off I apologize for the fact that there was no Massive Chalice or Orcs from Style last week. Uh, secondly, I must mention that I have reached 150 subscribers. Uh, it has taken a while. Uh, in the first year of the channel we exceeded uh, 100 subscribers. Then by May last year we were at 130 and then it's been a year to get 20 more. I guess I'm really bad at self-promotion. As well as making content then maybe. A anyway, uh, today is also the official release of uh, Message Tennis. So we are currently still on a beta build. Yes. It's probably going to be... You know, the actual release build will be available after the video goes up, maybe. Or maybe not, maybe it will be available before it goes up, but there's still I'm going to end the beta build. Alright, now we have two options here. Uh, seeds at Cradles or Seeds Bulwarks and Cradles. I just remembered that it's possible to decrease the Cadence uh, influence on a land if we actually win a battle. So I am not going here. There is no way I can win this battle. I have tried it so many times. It just doesn't work at all. So I'm gonna head here instead. I know I should have just kept the first uh, recording session of me losing that battle, but I did not and as such we are in our current situation, which does include re-recording that particular battle. I wish I had more level 3 shadow checks, because rebound is so good when we're going up against Gradles. Uh, Tarantino, what was your skill? Free throw. That might help. As might your ability to actually stab people. And then we have level 1 trick shots. Uh. Now those are not the best around. And there may be some things that may keep them down for they are not the best around. Anyway, because we have archers, they might be able to be enough. They just might be able to be enough. The flash shot is currently still locked for them. Uh, but what I mean is that uh, because there's nothing that uh, needs to die at the long distance, archers might just prove useful enough to with the cradles. Onward! We don't want to keep the cadence waiting. Is our spot our body is split around in three places? Well, um. That is not perfect at all. Okay, Alchemist, uh, please tell me there's no one else on your land. You have very poor vision. Alright, what can you see? Well, they can both stealth. We just make sure that there's no one else on this particular piece of land. But there might be because it's a pretty big piece of land. Alright, a uh, Go ahead and kill that seed. Which reveals another seed. Glorious. Glorious indeed. I have played it a little bit on the easy difficulty that is has been very recently added to the game and that's so much easier <laughs> which is implied in the name easy yeah oh what well, this is the one without rebound isn't it yep and one of them just went for the rock instead how very pleasant it would be wondrous if we could walk over there, but we cannot. Did I enable the cursor for this? Because if I didn't, it's kind of silly pointing. 
Let me check. Yes, the cursor is included. It's okay. It's all okay. But it's still a shame that I can't just uh, go ahead and punt the one on at the end of it. Because that is glorious if that happens successfully. Well, things are looking good for that. Should I check out there? Now that they're looking good for the archer. Alright, see if we can get closer without alerting anyone. How bad is your sight? Oh, you're just drunk. Okay, well, in that case, it's okay. I guess. That is less cause for alarm. Okay, we'll get these guys to the battle scene as well. We'll just run them over. And we may have to resort to healing this guy. Next turn. Yep. That seems to be necessary. And the Tarantino doesn't have a lot of health either, so... Yeah. Also, this battle isn't gonna look very good. Yeah. Send them back to that sludge from whence they came. Okay, we have one dead enemy. One. Can you take this guy out? For dinner? Wait. See, he really enjoys dinner. That's a 40% chance, but I don't think that one guy is able to deal 6 damage, so I might as well try. Oh, it wasn't enough. Okay, let's move you in over here. Ah, more seeds. Great, great. I hope they don't wander into him. So that would be the worst. Be quite the worst. Oh, and there were, were more graveyards on the island that the alchemist started out on alone. Which isn't surprising, it is a big island. Apparently. Yeah, and we located a gradle. Just a lone one, though. Whom are we moving? Oh, it is that guy. Go ahead and. Okay, that case could in cover over here as well. And you? I want you to finish him. But you did not, so... That leaves us with... Little option. Well, actually... Give us that option. The Gradle, though. The Gradle is gonna prove troublesome. He can kill... Both of the archers and the alchemist in one hit. So it would be for the best if I get them separated. Okay, the cradle hasn't noticed anything yet, so this is that. Can you shoot him? Nope. Well, I want you to heal. That's the issue. Which means if you can kill him, that would be great. If you cannot, I won't complain. You know, it's for the best if you do. No, that's a classic blow. That is not a kill. Repeat, that is not a kill. Alright, I'm sending another shadow check in. Which means he gets the Lone Wolf benefit. We could start trying to weigh that guy down, but he is really, really dangerous. He could one-shot the archer without any trouble at all. So stay there, keep an eye on the Gradle. No, don't hurt. That wasn't very kind. That wasn't very kind at all. But at least the enemy can explode. Okay. 
Uh, we still were closer to one another, but they are not. It's okay to... Okay, be very careful that we are not seen by the Gradle. Can you shoot this guy? The burn. Oh wait, no. That's a different tier, right? Well, you don't have a lot of health in total, so just heal up. Don't want to lose the buggers. I'm about to circle around to see if there's any other threats that I need to worry about first. But... Let's move him over here so he can continue scouting next turn. We can hope there's only one Gradle here, but that's not bound to be the case. You can run over there. That's another siege. Lucky for us that it's only a siege. But I'm still not entirely a fan, you know? Can you move over there? We can try flanking the enemy, it will not work. But we can give it our best. Wait, didn't I... you are on stealth, okay, never mind. Hmm. Can I move you over there? I can, good. Can I move you over here? I can, good. Can we start dealing some damage to that guy? We can. Though not terribly effectively. It's still something we can do. But there is that cradle to worry about as well. Which currently is the biggest issue. Okay, just give him a punt, will ya? That was too far. That was way too far, that archer won't be able to help now. So maybe? No, 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 I just walked him into a place where he can't help in any way. Alright, but at least... I believe uh, the Gradle should go for... That guy. Let's do slim a chance. Yeah, as was that apparently. You can't even hit the stunt cradle. It's a really large target, you know. Ah, glancing blow. Yes. Exactly what the doctor did prescribed. <laughs> okay, can you take this shot? Once again a miss. Is it a 75% chance that's it's way more than a flip of a coin, you know. It should be decent. Alright, can you join in on this uh, little... ...fight? You could, but... I just realized we also have an alchemist to worry about. Can you draw that? Without hitting our ally? You can. Though it is not very effective, it would be more effective to go and punch him as well. So we could have killed the seed. We probably should have killed the seed. Can you take a shot on the seed? 50% chance. It's still not very effective, but I placed you in a place where this is more effective than not attacking an enemy at all. Okay, Gradle, don't do a thing. Don't do a thing. Okay, that's okay. That is simply a seed. That is a-okay. Ah, I have a plan. Assuming the seed doesn't move this turn, which it doesn't, we can walk. Ah, uh, it's out of my range. Bugger. Well, in that case, let's see if you can kill him. You cannot, but you can deal damage. Let's see if you can kill him. Because House Vicaro really needs the XP. They don't have a single level 2 person yet. 
but now they do. And it's glorious. Oh, and uh, hey! It's as if I was planning for this. Oh, did you see the way that one went down? <laughs> I love that. That's beautiful. That's always so beautiful. Uh, one day we'll be able to get ramp cap uh, things, which will also be beautiful. B E A beautiful. Ah, <sighs> well, this side worked out. But there are more areas to worry about. But I think this is the end of this area. But there's also that. Which is large. And that, which is large. And may contain cradles. But there is a very spare small chance that this is the end of it. And if it is, I'll be amazed, but it's not. No, of course not. Okay, now I should decide where to go first. I think I'm going across that bridge and over to this side. But it's gonna be dangerous. You know, we don't have to stealth move yet. We need to stealth move once we're on the other side, because this side has been proven to be cleared. I believe. At least I like to think so. And I like to think I'm right on the matter. So let's keep on moving. What's the furthest you can go? There? Okay. You can go there. The bridge you can't see because you're blind drunk. Right. Or drunk blind. Whichever the way the phrase works. The gist of it is that you can't see shit. Which is a good sign of uh, giving proof that no one has shit the floor. Alright. I think the front of the area was safe when we were last here, so maybe it still is. Give it a try. Uh, you're the level 1 one, so he's the level 2 one. Which means he has a flask. Come on. No, 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 don't move there. That's, that's be silly. Unlock flask shot. Glorious. Okay, now we need to get a scout in. And the rest of the party can gather up over here. Which I think should be a safe enough spot. You can't really sneak into anything over there right now. You just do the same. And let's hope a cradle does not attack us while we're not looking. Yes! Because that is something that may happen. A cradle strike here and that's two corpses. Very barely to it would be so close to becoming free. There's a seed over there. That is good to know. Alright, uh, let's stealth over here. It's not the best hiding spot, but it's a hiding spot. Can you also stealth over here? Nope, so you run. And you can probably hide under here behind here I mean. I think they can't see through that. I hope they can't see through that. Oh, they could see through that. Or not. Maybe the seed just noticed that there is an area here. And stopped fine. Okay, well, uh, Tarantino, give me a plant. Though that will still not increase the movement towards of the archer, our scout. Well, let's hope you don't run into a seed immediately. Okay, great, I noticed, so you can start moving closer. I think we can have the archer on this side and fire over the obstacles. It's possible it may work, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'll just move this guy over here as well. Next turn, we will have to look into getting started with the battle, I think. Because I don't think it's 
safe to just let him be. Though he isn't sprouting out babies, so at least it's that. The miracle of childbirth is evaded. Though he doesn't push, uh, they don't push as much. If it's a mother, I don't think it's a he. They don't do a lot of the pushing parts, so it's completely plausible that uh, they don't uh, poop themselves every time they give birth. Yep. It's plausible. Uh, not in any way confirmed, but it's plausible. Can you? Yes. You know what? I kind of feel tempted to actually keep you a second shot for the next time, so I'm gonna move you closer again. So you can join the battle next turn. And you'll just run over here as well. The Gradle is not stunned, so there is that, which is... Not entirely troublesome. Ooh, you can kill that guy. And those seeds will also be joining us now. We can only hope that these are the only enemies in this area left. We'll see. We will definitely see. Ah, I could stun him into a wall. No, I could stun him into a cradle, which is even better. Then you can take another hit at him. And then, you are the level 1 one, so let's get the level 2 shot first. Which missed. And there's no way that the level... This guy is gonna get the killing blow... This turn. But he'll take another chance, try next time, so... It's okay. Alright, your friend over here. Get him. I can't take blow. Oh. Not a deal. Unfortunately. Ha! That's what you get for going for the level 4 one. Don't fuck the free bound. But there's still bound to be enemies on that side as well. The part where the lonely, lonely alchemist started out. Someone has a potion left. Okay, there's two potions left. I think one of them might be required by this fellow. But maybe not immediately, maybe once this battle is over. You can hope. Ah, we can do an explosive flask. Though that would be a terrible idea because there are too many people close to him. Okay, you try to take this shot again. Okay, you missed. In which case, you try to take this shot. Don't miss. Good. That's more XP for House Vicara. And since House Vicara is pretty low on XP, that's, that's a sound plan. Okay, kill one. Oh well, you got pretty close to killing one, but not quite, really, not quite. Not right. Okay, well, I'll kill the one with the most health. And rebound. Got the love rebound. So it's even better when the enemy has less. Well, if they're more clumped together and keep uh, pounding off each other and getting each other stun locked. It's glorious in that case. I have witnessed it before. Well, it's a sight to behold. Okay, give them a punch. Two in one go is always a good option. Wait, do you have your stun? No, you don't. Okay, well, in that case, you can kill one. Alright, how's our archers doing? Can you... You could kill two, I think. Yeah. Well, in that case, I think it's for best for the security of our nation if you do so. That was an explosion somewhere off the map, and that is... Not entirely, you know, fancy. It's entirely pleasant. Oh, we should have healed him first. We should have healed him first. It's okay. 
killed someone with a rebound. Thanks to Dodge for getting a go first. I hope there are no more. I don't think there are more cradles in this territory. It's just seeds. Though there may be cradles in the alchemist's starting area. It's still really weird that everyone got their own starting area. Really weird. Okay, well, uh, you heal him. Good. You go for that guy. You go for that guy. Classic blow, really. Huh. Unexpected, but... Most one I'm come actually. Get over there. We'll need to get you to a position where you can fight next turn. If it will come to that. Run into wall. We do far from a wall. We can't make our enemies run into walls. Which is a shame. I don't want to jinx this. I don't. I really don't. Ah, there's more enemies over on that side. We could make a shortcut over here. But this archer can start going around this way. Before the shortcut is made. You too, I guess. While you are too far away to start carving the shortcut. You could carve a shortcut over here from there. But on the other hand, you can move over this way. Doesn't matter. Okay, seeds are coming in. They seem to know that this is where the battle is at. I wonder if they heard the explosion. Or what came away our presence. Take a shot. And not a deal, but it's a start. It is certainly a start. Alright, you can move into stealth. And you can rush into the battle scenario place. And you can start beating down this wall. Which may actually make the seeds more interested in beating down the wall as well. Which may help. But you can do shit this turn, so in turn. Actually, got this shortcut is kind of wasteful in that uh, that scenario because. Well, actually, it is the one with the bounce, so uh, she can cause a bit of trouble even while she's just being attacked repeatedly. Can you take cover over there? You can. And that means we have perfect sight of the entire scenario. Hide over there. So we have four seeds over here right now. Uh, I think that may imply that there's still a Graydon in play. Yeah. Don't get too close. Not until... The Shadow Checks are actually out of the area. Oh, well, uh... That means we cannot exp... Oh, we can! Oh no. Nope. No, no, no. That does mean we cannot experience glorious, no, glorious desolation for our enemies. Which does mean that this guy still can't do anything. Yeah. We should have considered something different there. Oof, well. There is no way you cannot kill that. Oh, wait. Um. You know. Alchemist, can you take out that guy? You can. But you see, I have a plan. A glorious plan. Don't miss this shot. Well, he didn't miss the shot, but it wasn't really good either. But it might be enough that the rebound will be able to kill the enemy. Maybe. 
Like if this guy takes the same attack angle, I think rebound might be able to kill the enemy. No, sadly not. Well, in that case, Dorothy gets this kill because it's time for this particular one to get out of the way. Dorothy? You're back. I can't remember the higher level Iron Hand's name. Oh! Wow. Watching this what? is just like seeing the battle at Screed's Gate again. We didn't tell you about that one, did we? I don't believe so. Screed's Gate. House of the Thieves without houses. <laughs> we won! If everyone's surviving, what is this nonsense? Of course, the Iron Hand Turf is slightly goated in the goo now. But we almost have ramp cap cables, so at least there's that. Oh, and Penel Vicara has died. But good news everyone, we have level 2 Vicaras. Level 2 Vicaras. Now you have low fertility, so you're not getting this promo- uh, this, you know. But, uh... Level 2 Vicaras! And Coxwick can uh, be sacrificed for this goal. So we'll get some basic hunters, but, you know, basic hunters, they aren't bad. Kinda like them, actually, because they are... I really enjoy shadow checks, and uh, I think the precision alchemists are also pretty good. Hey, 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 have we not met anyone over here? That is the case. Well, we can make an alchemist house. A second alchemist house isn't a bad idea. Plus, with uh, Dof being level 4, that is really good. We can even have Alexander join her, though. Apparently, Alexander and Alex are the only male people out here. Boom Striker is pretty good there. Yeah. The precision ones, they deal a lot of damage. But it's low fertility. The moderate chance of children is less than a high chance of children. Okay, what is House Trentino doing there? Trentino? Trentino? Yes, you're the House Trentino. Uh, let me know if you're training anyone. You're training two people, but they're both really young, because Stardom as Trentino only recently became... the bloke? Not the bloke, not the bloke, the regent. Her partner is the bloke, I guess. And we did get another Tarantino. A new baby Tarantino. Which isn't a bad thing, really. Heroes Nation. Recruitment boost is really good, actually, but it takes 20 years. And I'm not sure I'm willing to sacrifice 20 years for that. Let's get our Gabus some advanced armor. But on the other hand, that's 15 years. So actually, let's get the recruitment boost, because why not? It's a good thing to have. Technically. Uh, can I form a vanguard? Not yet, no. We need more male Tarantinos, really. But apparently, Jacini and Felicia are currently the only Tarantinos on the field. And Alex Vicara is the only Vicara on the field. Ooh, uh, that doesn't sound very good. Okay, uh. Wait, yes, you're the Vicaras, right? Tell me. You only have one trainee right now. But you'll be able to get more children now because there's a new regent. And, yeah, I lost a lot of Vicaras, that's what happened. They just didn't have a lot of health and death isn't something to be happy about. But some people are terrible. This is good news. Heroes that are particularly skilled at the time of their passing will have relics to their name that can be passed on to another for life. But only to heroes of the same house. These sacred heirlooms are powerful monuments to their bloodlines and will only grow in strength as they are passed down the line. Nice. We got our first heirloom that we can actually keep because the last one we had 
was on an infertile hero with no family. Well, Crystal is the regent, so it's not going to her. I think Raven might become a regent at a later point in time, though. But I think she is worthy of having the blind leap. Look at that critical chance. Yes, blind leap to Raven Iron Hand. So maybe I should have given it to Dorothy. I know. The Raven? Do you remember to. Oh, you have equipped it. Oh, that looks really nifty. Where is Steampunk? Without the uh, steam. So, very punk? No, it's not very punk either. I don't know. Okay, empty guild. There, I currently don't have a single sage ride. Well, I'm gonna drop some of the level 1 people here. Because we just want. We want that boost on the thingy. We really want that boost on the thingy. And 17 years is still a lot less than 20. So go for it. We going to have free lands with uh, minor cadence. Ah. Seems like this came just in time. You were starting to get that look. What look? I had the same face for years. People always said it's rather inviting. I wasn't talking about yours. Oh. You're awoken by Dorothy Ironhand falling in onto you in a heap after being hit with a haymaker from Alex Vicara. There's been a feud simmering between the two bloodlines for a while, something about our one family not doing as much for the war effort as the other. But now it's gone too far. What do you do? Well, of course the Iron Hand has done a lot more than Vicara. House Vicara is quite new. Well, I wo won't send them on the road trip. Though it might be a really good idea. But that means we, I will have less people for my roster. Force them to talk it out with you. The families respectfully listen to everything you have to say and even manage to hold two separate discussions without resorting to violence. But in the end they tell you that this is a personal matter and it will sort itself out. Well, they're officially feuding now, so I have no idea what that means for them. Oh, we've almost lasted a hundred years. We get the recruitment boost before we reach 100 years there. They are making so many babies! How Sareas is at it! Elapses and Wrinkless, that is where we need to go. Rapture Seeds, Cradleless. That sounds like a lot of trouble. But we need to go here. Though we haven't fought Wrinkles yet, and Wrinkles are a terrible, terrible foe. Uh, this is where we will need to go and this is where we will be going next time. So thanks for watching. I'll see you then.